despite the different shades of Republicans we could ha we have, they all are uh, very conservative. Uh, they all are, you know, almost decisively pro pro life, very strong uh, anti growing government. They might differ on what kind of taxes to levy when they are, but they're generally anti tax. They're anti uh, growth of the federal government in particular. They're very strong uh, individual liberties, individual rights, states' rights. Uh, and so you're going to have to have someone that meets, and I don't think all the candidates, quite frankly, uh, meet some litmus test there. I think in Precinct 196, I think most people, most voters would hesitate to support Cruz. Okay? And so, uh, and I think a lot of them would hesitate to support Trump as well. The answer is undecided, but I'm leaning towards Cruz. Proven proven conservative, um, doesn't waver. I like Rubio, but I'm not sure that Rubio, um, you know, I'm not sure he's tested. They're appealing to a very shallow substrate, I think, of the American voter. I understand the economic fear that many people have, but they're not listening to their candidates that they support so enthusiastically their candidates don't offer a solution. It's going to have to be someone that connects with the people, that they can be, hey, this is someone who's going to take, uh, we have an intense dissatisfaction in Oklahoma with the federal government. So it's got to be someone that said, hey, I'm taking your values to Washington. I'm going to fix Washington. I think it's really the message overall.